Hello everyone, this is a continuation of my testing of Neverware Chromium OS or Chrome OS. Uh, last time I did it with a really terrible uh, Atom computer with only one gig of RAM. So this time I'm going to use a much more modern computer. It's by no means state of the art, it's a, an Intel Pentium of some description. Uh, so it's not even an i3 or um, whatever. And hopefully, it's certainly got 4 gigs of RAM, so it's definitely got a lot more RAM than the, uh, the other one I tested with. And I'm just going to do, initially, this at the moment is running Windows uh, 7, I believe. No, in fact, it's running Windows 10. And I'm going to turn, on, turn it on, and then, like I did in the previous video, which if you're interested to see, it's quite a long video, and it goes through the basics of what Chromium or um, Neverware OS is. Um, this one will just literally be me turning this on, seeing how well Windows 7 works uh, and how quickly I can get to the Guardian website, which is a UK newspaper website. And uh, then I will shut it down. I'll install Neverware from this memory stick, which is the same memory stick I used for uh, the HP laptop that I did, the really bad laptop. Um, and we'll see which one wins. So this time, so the on the HP one, uh, definitely Windows 7 with no antivirus and uh, literally just Chrome installed was quicker than Chrome OS, um, especially in the startup and loading the initial website. After that, they were pretty much the same. I'd say that scrolling around, so scrolling up and down the web page um, was a better experience in Windows 7 than it was on Neverware. But with this, I expect and I hope that uh, Chromium or Neverware will be a lot better. So let's get going. I'll start this and we'll, we'll see how it goes. So we're at 29 minutes and 37 seconds past the hour. And also, this is a cold boot of Windows 10. I've made sure that fast start is switched off, because otherwise that's a bit of a trick that Windows is doing these days. When you shut uh, Windows 10 and Windows 8 onwards, I think, when you shut down, they actually shut down, then they boot up again, and then they go into hibernate, um, so that when you switch it on, the machine feels like it starts up quicker, but actually all it's done is come out of hibernate and then uh, given you the desktop, and actually the startup part it had done was when you last shut down. Uh, that's, I think, cheating, and I've switched off that option. So it does a full startup. The time this is taking, I almost feel like there's something wrong with it. No, nope, it's literally just the time that this old computer takes. So I'm going to click on Chrome. Google for Guardian newspaper. Wait an age for all the adverts to load. 
Let's see how well it scrolls while it's loading. It's still pretty juddery. And there we go, it's done. So that took, uh, I don't know, we're now at 32 minutes and 37 seconds past the hour. So that is 30, uh, that's three minutes almost exactly to boot Windows from cold, load up Chrome and then load the Guardian website. Uh, while we're here, let's also have a look at what um, specifications this computer is. So it's a Celeron B815 1.6 gigahertz computer with 4 gigs of RAM. And it's running build 1709 of Windows 10, which I believe is the most recent build at the time that I'm recording this video. So I'm going to turn it off, chuck in this memory stick, and install Never, Neverwhere. Right, so here we go. We are ready with Neverwhere, and I'm going to turn it on and time it and see how it compares to Windows 7 on this same machine. So it's 53 minutes past the hour exactly as I switch it on. And before I performed this test, I turned it on, made sure it was up to date, and connected it to my Wi-Fi. So it should be ready to go as well. I'm going to browse as a guest. Quickest way to get into the operating system. And we're pretty much done. That was a whole lot quicker. So that was uh, 53 minutes and zero seconds through to 54 minutes and probably about 38 or 39 seconds. Uh, so almost half the time to switch on and, and bring up a very complicated web page with, with lots of adverts on it. So uh, on the really horrible computer, so an Atom processor with one gig of RAM, uh, it's Chromium or Neverware is much slower. On a moderately old laptop, I'd probably say this is maybe six years, possibly even older, um, with four gigs of RAM and a traditional hard disk in it as well, is actually much quicker than Windows, uh, with a big, uh, massive advantage of that you shouldn't have to have, or you can't even have antivirus on it. Um, it's just a whole lot kind of lighter weight, so if you're just going to be browsing the internet and doing Google Docs or maybe even Office 365 with their online uh, apps, it will be a much better uh, solution, especially if you're finding that your Windows install is kind of clagged up and really slow, it takes ages to boot, uh, or it's got lots of kind of junk wear on it and you just can't be bothered to tidy it up, and you're quite happy just wiping the machine and blatting everything. Uh, it seems to work pretty well on um, fairly um, good hardware. I hope that's helped someone. It would really help me if uh, you wouldn't mind subscribing. You don't need to have notifications switched on, but definitely the subscriber numbers would really help. Thank you very much.